Hi, my name is Isabella. Uh, I'm from Cardiff University. I study English Language and Linguistics, and I'm here on the Cardiff-funded programme for Intern Vietnam. Uh, so I've been working for a company called ABC Education, and for the first month they set me up with a school called Hello International, and I was teaching four or five hours a day, mostly in the evenings, and Saturday and Sunday mornings sometimes. Uh, and yeah, there was working from a textbook, I was having to learn on the job, so it was really challenging. But yeah, I learned loads, I learned it really, really quickly as well, and they were so happy to have an international teacher. Then for my second month, I'm working for a production company. I'm still with ABC, and I'm basically now teaching teachers how to teach English, so I'm giving basic tips and kind of like instructions on lesson planning or how to control the class or what's the most important aspects. And yeah, again, they've given me the material, so I'm not making it up, but I am editing the presentations myself. They're filming me, like I've got like a green screen behind me. Um, and their hours are so good, it's kind of like 9 to 4 working in the studio and then if I'm not on the studio I'm working from home. Happens. So yeah, it's really good. Uh, okay, so I live in a place called Saigon Sweet Home, which is a big block of studio apartments. Uh, yeah, my apartment's really nice. I've got my own bathroom and kitchen, double bed, really good aircon, nice balcony. Uh, it's a really good location. I'm near coffee shops, good restaurants, nice bars, uh, things like that. It's service, so I get a cleaner like three times a week, which is really helpful. And they take the bins out and change the sheets once a week, like things like that. Yeah, so there's loads of tourism opportunities at the weekend. For example, I'm at this temple today uh, with Ali, which is really good fun. I've been to a few cathedrals. We went on a walking tour throughout the city, which is about four hours, but it was so much fun. We went to the cathedral, the post office, uh, opera house, the palace, um, which was super amazing just to see all the different sites. Uh, what else have I done? I went to the tunnels with the whole group right at the beginning of the trip. That was so much fun really cool learning about the history of the city and tomorrow I'm going to a place called Mekong Delta which apparently is really good, really touristy. Haven't been there before but I'm really excited. Uh, if I was going to give any advice to future interns I'd probably say to mentally prepare for it. It's not obviously all easy. It's You're away from home for a long time, you're working in a very different environment, it's really hot, you're with people who don't speak the same language. Equally, you get used to it so quickly, you're really thrown into the deep end, but that ends up being a positive thing. Uh, yeah, and the support you get here, like as soon as you get off the plane, someone's there to help you, so they really do hold your hand as much as possible and nothing's too much trouble, which is really good. In terms of your internship, I'd say really try and just throw yourself in it. It is tough, they are long days, like I said, the climate doesn't help, but the more you put in, the more you will get out, so that's, it's really worth just trying to enjoy it, make the best of the day, and it's what you're here to do, so you may as well have fun. Okay, um, I think this programme is going to hugely help in the future. I think an internship like this is really going to stand out on my CV, so I hope that will help even in the short term with like just going on a master's course or something like that. But more importantly, I am really set on teaching now, which I was not interested in at all before I came. I wanted to do teaching as my internship more for my degree, because I study linguistics, but now I've realized I love it, I'm quite good at it, I find it quite natural. So yeah, that's the, been the biggest kind of plus for me, is like I really feel like I know what I want to do and that I've got quite a lot of purpose now. Uh, but it's also helped with just that work experience, working with other people, adapting to new people, having to report to a boss, like just small work experience, things like that, like experience that's really important at my age. I haven't got a lot of experience, especially not working in Asia. So I think from that experience, it's just going to be great.